Hey guys, welcome back to Dr. Soybean's Blind Let's Play of Super Mario Land 3 to Tanga's Return, uh, part 12, and we're continuing on here with this dual exit level. And I will confess, I played this a little bit off camera because I wanted to uh, get a little bit of practice in and find out where the secret exit was, because this level was giving me a little bit of trouble. Uh, underwater levels... Much like auto-scrolling levels, not my favorite. And this one is especially uh, difficult because we have all these electric uh, jellyfish to deal with. So we're going to go ahead and get the secret exit first. Because that uh, does come up relatively quickly. Okay, we'll let him do that again. And then we'll go. Whoa, that was close. Okay. You know, in retrospect, I perhaps should have gone into another level and powered up with maybe a fire flower or a cape, but what are you going to do? Hindsight, as they say, is 2020. So, crap. What we want to do is this. And there's the secret exit. Let's do Penguin's Peak, and then we'll head back and do that, uh, uh, the regular exit of that level. And these penguins you'll recognize from Yoshi's Island. And if it's like Yoshi's Island, they don't really hurt you, they just bounce you the fuck around. Which can be, uh, difficult. They could knock you into a pit or knock you into another obstacle. Another level with a very uh, pleasing aesthetic. I like the uh, mountains in the background and the colored sky. I like the snow-colored, snow-covered trees. This hacker definitely has a, a flair for design. A little slow down there. And see, that's where a penguin could be difficult. He could ricochet you right into those spikes. Probably should have gone there. I was being cautious. Ah, uh, crap. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That could have ended very badly. That was more luck than skill. Okay, midway point. Beautiful. Fire flower and oh for Christ's sake, come on. I didn't think he'd be able to touch me when he was on the ledge above me. Well Wow. I'm actually getting some good luck here for a change. Move the fuck. Well, I guess I gotta go this way. Anything here? Okay. I didn't. I know I missed one though, so we're not gonna get the one up this level. Oh, okay. And 
that's the end. Cloud top chaos. All right, no sense putting it off any longer. Let's do the uh, regular exit of Jelectro Shock treatment, and we can finally put this fucking level behind us. Oh please! See, so you know what I was banking on. In the original Mario Brothers, and I th think in Mario 3 as well, but don't quote me on that, if you're standing on the ground, the jellyfish won't hurt you. It's only if you're actually swimming that they can touch you. But I guess that's not the case in this hack, as I learned the hard way. But now we have firepower, which hopefully we can hang on to for a while, because that puts me in pretty good shape. Now I can get this asshole out of my face. And this shithead as well. Oh, you fuck nut. Let's... well, yeah, let's do this. Because it gets a lot of these idiots out of the way. Definitely the right thing to do. Okay, now we got our fire back. And of course, we lost it again. Oh, please. Okay, thank god. That must be the end. Phew! Alright, let's put that behind us for ever. Icy installation and another dual exit level. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's go for it. Aurora Borealis. At this time of day, at this time of year, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen. And we've got Shy Guys and Smiths. bullet bills. This level is quite the clusterfuck. Flower these guys, yes. Anything up here? Whoa, shit balls. Oh, crap. Uh, you know what? I'll bet you any money. That was going to be the secret exit. Looks like just a bonus area. Oh no, I guess it was the secret exit. Ah, Blue Switch Palace. 
guessing our last one. Yes, I understand. Okay. Uh, let's do the regular exit of this one. This insanity. So the music in this level is pretty neat. Another tune I don't recognize. Holy shit. It was just a clusterfuck of projectiles. I know we got a mushroom there. Thank you. Oh, come on. Right, we got our midway point too, so that's okay. I feel like the trick to this level is to just kind of move fast. Because if you stop and try and think about anything, you're just going to get caught in a clusterfuck of projectiles and end up getting screwed. Nice. doing for time. I think we got time for at least one more level. Frosted Donuts. Alright, should we... I'm guessing that airship up there is the uh, castle substitute, so let's do this level, and then we'll leave uh, one more level plus the castle, quote-unquote, for next... Uh, Next time. Oh, I see what they mean by frosted donuts, and it's an auto scroller. Beautiful. Have we seen those things yet in this hack? I don't remember, honestly. In truth, this doesn't seem this that bad for an auto scroller. Seems a little less insane than the last level we did, that's for sure. How did that hurt me? Alright, let's wait for a safer time to get the feather back. Alright, now I think is okay. Whoa. How did that not hurt me? I thought for sure that would uh, result in a hit. So they call them Frosted Donuts. I would have called them Frosted Cheerios back in the day. Which are delicious. Almost as good as Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. And good, good whole wheat shreddies. Oh, fuck me. They fall really, really quickly in this hack, I'm telling you. It's faster than uh, than in the actual game. By which I mean Mario 3. So we'll have one more go at this. I think we got time for that. And if it, uh, again, if I fail again, then we'll do this level next, uh, next installment as well. They really do not give you any time to stand on these. You basically gotta be constantly either in motion or constantly kind of jumping around to adjust yourself. I think that was the same one that hit me last time.
Alright, let's... Oh, not a good... Damn it, guys. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's call that a part 12. We'll deal with that level and these next... The next level and the castle in, uh... Part 13. See you then.